Hi guys, um, this is the first series on this channel and what this series is aimed to do is it's is, is designed to help you um, sort of configure Windows Server 2003 standard for an Active Directory domain. There will be in Series 2 uh, a version for 2008 server. Okay, so on 2003, this is the first episode. So um, this episode will aim uh, at installing Serve 2003. So uh, if we go, as we're in the BIOS here, if we go into the boot uh, tab, we need to boot off the DVD. So here we go. So move the CD ROM down to the top and exit save and changes. The computer will then boot off the CD. Click F6 if you need to install a RAID drive or SCSI driver. In this case we don't because it's only a very basic install. Let's let that boot off the DVD. Okay, so we need to press enter to start up Windows now. And F8 to agree with the terms and conditions. Um, then we need to go to the into the unpetition space and click enter. So that will create a petition on that drive. Uh, if you ha if you do have a a um a hard drive with an old insta installation and you want to erase that disk you have to press del D here for delete okay so that's going to press enter okay so you can either format the petition or you can format it quickly for the sake of this we're going to use quick but I'd highly recommend using the the slow one then not the one that says it's not quick, you know. Uh, so let's go for this one and let it install. It will take a little while. So let that start copying files, and I'll uh, be back in a minute. Okay, so the system's coming up to the end of copying files. and it should reboot any second now there we go, so your computer will reboot in 10 seconds so we need to click enter to reboot the uh, the machine so it can boot and continue installing windows so we we do we don't want to boot off the CD because that will start the installation again and we don't want that and this is the second part of the installation which will take about half an hour, it may be quicker or it may be slower depending on the specification of the machine itself so I'll just pause the video and uh, see you in a minute okay so here we are at the Windows setup um, language screen So. I'm not in the United States of America land, so we need to change this to the United Kingdom for me. It may be different for you depending on where you are. Okay, so you should notice that the language settings change here. So I need to click next. Uh, we need to type in the name of the company and organisation, so for this sake we're going to 
to use um, server one armed up and tech tips. So next, here you need to enter your product key. Although I'm not going to enter it here. Now at the licensing licensing setup uh, part of the installation. Um, you can choose how you want the licensing to work. So you can either have it per server, so the number of concurrent connections if you want, or you can set it up so you can have it per device per user. For this uh, installation I'm going to use per device per user. So, computer name, when you change that, so, so Ben's Tech Tip Server, in this case, obviously you can change that, and you'll find out that you'll need to enter a, well you don't need to, it's highly recommended, that you enter a password at this screen, so I'm going to enter one. Obviously a strong, strong password would be better. Uh, we change the time zone as well, so I'm in the in this list here, and we have to let it configure the network connections. Okay, so we need to choose typical settings here. You can use custom settings if you want to change the installation. Uh, we will be in episode. I think it's three or four, we will be setting up an Active Directory domain. So for now we'll leave it as work group so it is on its separate part of the network. You can optionally uh, connect it to an, uh, an existing domain if you so want to, although I'd recommend you do that once you've installed the drivers for Windows. Okay, so this step will take a little while, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so the machine's just rebooted. Um, give it a sec. There we go, it's booting up. We do not want to boot off the CD again, because otherwise the installation will start again, as I say. We don't want that. Okay, so it should boot up now. Here we are in the installation. It will take a few minutes, there we go. Okay, so we want to be pressing Control and Delete. And to log on to Windows, we'll have to type the password in that you set up. If I can type it properly. There we go, so it's now logging on. Okay, so, seems we're installing. Um, the release 2 version of server will need to specify where that um, those files are so what I need to do is I need to just because I'm using a virtual machine here and I'll need to just change the disk okay so now I've just put the, put the CD in not virtually obviously Click OK and it should start with the R2 item. The R2 part of the installation does only take a few minutes, if that. 
So we'll give this a sec. I'll just pause the video because uh, I don't want to have to do a part two of this video. So, hang on. okay, so we're back about a quarter of a second after I just pause that. So, um, I want to click finish. Okay, so we click finish to this as well. Now, what we will need to do is we'll need to install the drivers for the operating system. Now, if you're installing this on a a um, a physical machine you'll need to install the drivers for the motherboard, the graphics card, etc. So, this is a virtual machine, as I say, so we're going to install the VMware tools. If we can make it start, there we go. Let's give it a sec. Okay, so I'll just pause the video while I'm installing this. Okay, so I've now installed the drivers for this um, machine, so that basically concludes the uh, this video. As you can see, this is how the machine is set up. So yeah, I'll see you in episode 2, where we will, hopefully, um, be configuring the file services within Server 2003.